I was raised on the radio and hooks and hooks. Kiss fans, welcome to It's All For You Demon, celebrating the fun of being a Kiss fan, taking it a little 80s today, a little, you know, as the uh, intro suggested, a little radio hookish. That is my area, that is my, that is my area of fun, because I love radio hooks, I love 80s rock, and that is when I became a fan, so why not today discuss radio hooks, and when you discuss radio hooks, you have to mention one name, and that is Desmond Child. This is my top five Desmond Child collabs with Kiss and some others just for fun. I thought we would start today's vlog by, you know, peeling back the Superman curtain on the machine of Kiss and how Desmond Child was a go-to and also suggested to some other artists that boomed in the 80s. And all we have to do is go to the Donington era of those big 80s monster rock type shows. And Bon Jovi Kiss developed somewhat of a friendship. And Desmond Child's name was thrown around. As noted here, eventually John and Paul became friendly. And prior to Bon Jovi's recording Slippery When Wet, Paul recommended a friend of his, Desmond Child, to collaborate with John on writing songs for the album. Desmond had co-written Kiss's biggest disco hit, I Was Made For Loving You. We all know Slippery When Wet went on to sell millions, and let's face it, Bon Jovi eclipsed Kiss in the 80s and... You have to wonder if Paul ever regretted that suggestion. And just kind of an off-the-cuff question here. What do, all, what do you all use for bookmarks? I use Dan Thompson's high school activity card from 1986 and 87. Desmond Child collabs with Kiss. There was a lot of them. I Was Made For Loving You, Heaven's On Fire, Under The Gun, I've Had Enough Into The Fire, King Of The Mountain, who wants to be lonely? I'm alive. Radar for love. Uh, all night. Bang, bang. You, my way. Reason to live. Let's put the X in sex. You make me rock hard. Hide your heart and you love me to hate you. How fun would it be to sit on your couch and just let the royalty checks from these songs roll in? That, my friends, is living. And here we go. My top Five, Desmond Child Kiss collapse once again using the People magazine as my unveiling of my list. And here we are, number five. Kind of a, a tie. I'm, I'm doing a tie here. Uh, all night and reason to live. And I figured since we're in the 80s spirit, we will use CDs versus vinyl just because, man, back when I became a fan... The goal was to get the entire catalog on CD. CDs were brand new, and it was a fun journey and fun trek. Uh, all night. Great closer to the Asylum record. I'm a huge Asylum boy. have a lot of Asylum love in my heart. This is definitely a go-to record, escape record for me. To me... Always considered Asylum and Crazy Nights sister albums, kind of like I do Unmasked and Dynasty. Asylum is the better record. Asylum is by far the better record, and Asylum is aging wonderfully. Uh, all night. I mean, when you're 15 years old, those lyrics are all you need. Those bottoms shaking on the video are all you need. And rock and roll dreams are born. Number five, uh, all night. 
And the tie, Reason to Live, the power ballad from Crazy Nights, Kiss's Sunset Strip era power ballad. You know, you think back to monster ballads of the 80s and you think like White Snake, you think Motley Crue. Reason to Live is just as powerful, has tremendous guitar hooks in it, has tremendous radio hooks, all thanks to Paul Stanley and the man we are talking about today, Desmond Child. Wonderful song. I love it so much. I could not leave it off the top five, so it had to be a tie with Uh All Night. Number four on the list, Who Wants to Be Lonely? My number four song, Who Wants to Be Lonely? Even before I was a Kiss fan, I was listening to Asylum on Cassette and Danny's Camaro and watching the Who Wants to Be Lonely video with Danny and Brett every time they would rent Kiss Exposed. And it's just one of those songs that has so radio hook gravitational pull to me. It defined Paul Stanley as a rock star to me at a very young age. Lots of, you know, Friday night rock star air guitar mirror sessions went on in my bedroom. Dreaming of being a rock star, playing Who Wants to Be Lonely. That song is hugely special to me and... One of the all-time great 80s rock songs. Number three on the list. I was made for loving you. From my all-time favorite Kiss album. Disco, fun, roller rink, fun, 1979 glory. It's the perfect song and it still sounds good live today. Number two on the list. You love me? to hate you. You're gonna see a lot of my origin now. Hot in the Shade. Such a special album to me. You Love Me to Hate You has just a wonderful hookish quality to it. Some of these, I don't want to call them throwaway, but some of these throwaway Paul Stanley songs of the 80s that weren't huge hits. They're so good and You Love Me to Hate You is just one of those go-to's. You Love Me to Hate You and King of Hearts from Hot in the Shade are hugely special to me. Those are two sister songs that just bring forth 80s warmth to me. So number two, You Love Me to Hate You from Hot in the Shade. And my number one favorite all time Desmond Child Kiss collab, You Make Me Rock Hard. I'm not going to apologize for it. No siree. You make me rock hard. I love this song. I have always wanted a Paul Stanley, Samantha Fox duet sort of effort in a song like this. This song is so FM radio, windows down, even though it'd be a little embarrassing to get caught with your windows down, you know. This is a, this is a windows up song, but I love it so much. Roll those windows down and celebrate it 80 style. This song just has that sharp, hook, that sharp radio hook I love of Desmond Child. And it's a perfect Paul Stanley song. You know, I celebrate smashes big time in my life. And when my friends and I went to New York City, yeah, it was cool to see Tenney's 23rd Street. But honestly, finding the Let's Put the X in Sex building was very, very important to me. And something I am so proud that I achieved in my life, finding that video location shoot. I know it's cheesy and stupid in the KISS lore when you consider like how important Tenney's 23rd Street is, but to me, this is my origin. This is important. And this is the stuff I love. So there you have my top five KISS collabs. I did make a list of some honorable mentions. Stuff I think you need to check out because it's so gosh darn good. House of Fire by Alice Cooper. Has such a wonderful hook in the chorus. My gosh, turn that chorus up. And a good thing, Alice has added House of Fire to his set list as of recent. Of course, when concerts were still around. Just a great song, great collab. Alice Cooper, Desmond Child. The entire Trash album is excellent in a wax night sort of saturday night basement vibe alice cooper trash i would highly recommend born to be my baby by bon jovi i'm a bon jovi fan not ashamed to admit it born to be my baby is a great song has a great hook 
Not ashamed to admit, I love that song and I will celebrate that song anytime it's on. And lastly, I Hate Myself for Loving You by Joan Jett. I Hate Myself for Loving You has something in it that very much reminds me of You Make Me Rock Hard. And I think that's why I love I Hate Myself for Loving You so much. Listen to I Hate Myself for Loving You and something about the way she sings the hook in that song is very much You Make Me Rock Hard. Probably why I love it so. And now we get to see the elusive boop tongue. Look at a little booply tongue. Little boopily tongue sticks out because her tongue's so long and her nose is so short. Thank you for hanging out with us today. If you'd like to be a pen pal with us, details below. We'll send you some large Marge Pee Wee swag. Be good to your babies. Spay, neuter, microchip, Pee Wee, large Marge. It's all for you, demon. Boop tongue. We will talk to you soon. <laughs>